What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is the 2008 romantic comedy film Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Directed by Nicholas Stoller, Forgetting Sarah Marshall accounts the story of a man named Peter, played by Jason Segel, who was recently broken up with by his famous girlfriend, actress Sarah Marshall, played by Kristen Bell. In order to regain his composure and his happiness, Peter heads to Hawaii to take a vacation and to collect his thoughts. However, he just so happens to be staying at the exact same hotel as his ex-girlfriend Sarah Marshall and her new boyfriend, famous musician out of snow played by Russell Brand. In an effort to refine himself, Peter attempts to connect with other hotel residents and hotel employees and of course stay away from his ex-girlfriend. However, he doesn't quite pull it off as flawlessly as he hoped. Alright, so Forgetting Sarah Marshall wasn't a request, it's obviously not a new film, but it's a movie that I recently watched again on Netflix and I felt like I wanted to and honestly should review it. I felt like I should review it because I love it every single time I watch it. And it's one of my favorite comedy films ever. And hopefully this review can convince people who have never seen it before to go and give it a shot. But we'll see how that goes. You never know for certain. But I think I love the film so much because it is a comedy. More specifically, like I mentioned, a romantic comedy. But it does so much with its comedic aspects, its romance aspects, and its characters that it achieves so much more than the vast majority of romantic comedies that have ever been created really have. I think this film is hilarious. It has a lot of interesting things to say about love and friendship too, and it has excellently written and performed characters. I mean, when you combine those three elements, you have one hell of a romantic comedy film. So let's start with the comedy itself, considering that's what I'd argue most people probably watch and remember this film for. Forgetting Sarah Marshall's brand of comedy doesn't really align with other comedy films I've reviewed in recent months that are just extremely silly and ridiculous and over the top. This movie is definitely more subtle than that. I think what makes this specific film funny is how relatable a lot of the situations are. I think many of us have gone through difficult breakups trying to rebound and recapture our happiness, and of course running into your ex somewhere and it being super awkward. These are all highly relatable experiences that Forgetting Sarah Marshall uses to its benefit by heightening and making super awkward and cringy in this specific story. That's primarily where the film excels comedically, but there's plenty of other hilarious moments too that are just funny because they're clever and a little bit goofy. But while Forgetting Sarah Marshall is certainly hilarious, I think I feel most connected to it because of the development of the characters and the romances that develop over the course of the film. Jason Segel's character Peter is the primary character of interest here, and everything that happens sort of revolves around him. The story revolves around him because it's mostly told from his perspective. His difficult breakup with his high profile actress ex is the driving force of the plot here, and how it drives him into a feeling of hopelessness and even depression. Peter develops a sense of worthlessness very early on in the film, and everything after that tries to show him coming to terms with the fact that he is who he is, and he shouldn't doubt himself just because he got broken up with. And I think the development that takes place for Peter over the course of the film is one of the elements that hooked me the most emotionally. I don't think Peter is my favorite character in the movie, he's not the funniest or even the most interesting to me, but he is relatable, and his struggle is relatable at a basic level at least. But it also helps that eventually he starts to grow, and take the pain he's feeling and turn it into something useful and productive, something that allows him to come out of his shell and start changing his life for the better. But he doesn't do this alone though, it takes Mila Kunis' character Rachel to sort of nudge him in the right direction and motivate him in ways they didn't even know he needed. And that's a really cool way to depict friendship and even love on screen. What's great about Forgetting Sarah Marshall is that it takes four characters who are all very different from one another and we sort of watch them influence and change each other in good ways and bad. It takes two couples and has them depict drastically different types of relationships that develop and change the characters themselves over the course of the film. And the movie actually has a lot to say about what love truly is, and how sometimes we need to let something go or someone else go in order to grow and evolve. And this is a very difficult thing to do, because we all have things about ourselves or even people that we love that we're unwilling to let go of. And I think in a totally unexpected way, Forgetting Sarah Marshall really resonated with me in regards to the importance of not opposing change and personal growth. I just really love the characters in this film, because they're all interesting and they all feel very unique and so full of life. And I think my favorite character probably has to be Russell Brand's character Aldous Snow though. This may be because I've seen Get Him to the Greek, a spinoff that I love and will probably review at some point as well, and I just find his character to be witty and sort of out there in a way that allows the comedy to really shine through. But all the performances are very good here. Mila Kunis is great, Kristen Bell is great, Jason Segel is great, Paul Rudd and Jonah Hill are in this movie, Bill Hader and Jack McBray are in this movie. They all have their funny moments. And as I always say, great films have great characters, which Forgetting Sarah Marshall definitely has. One final point I want to make here is that Forgetting Sarah Marshall Marshall isn't necessarily anything groundbreaking. It doesn't stray too far from the path of the great romantic comedies of the past, but what it does very well is balance. It balances well-written raunchy comedy with romanticism that mixes together and creates a story that's not only funny, but also one that's meaningful and impactful. I find this movie to be very quotable, I find this movie very touching, and I find what it has to say about some important topics very insightful. You really can't ask for much more than that. As for the pros cons, I thought Forgetting Sarah Marshall had a hilariously raunchy and clever brand of comedy, excellent characters and performances, great balance between comedy and romance, and lots of insightful commentary about important topics. As for the cons, 
Nothing. I love this film and I can't say I dislike anything about it. I'm gonna give Forgetting Sarah Marshall a 10 out of 10 and definitely recommend you check it out if you haven't already. It's an excellent romantic comedy film and should be watched by all. So have you guys seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite romantic comedy film. Another tough question I know, but this should be a fun discussion. Either way, this is Wolf Fox of Vacation signing off. See you in the next review.